officially arrives this weekend. Our winter solstice is Saturday morning at 420 in the morning. So what actually is that and why do we have the seasons? Well, it all has to do with the Earth. It's tilted at 23 and a half degrees on its axis as we rotate around the sun throughout the year, and that's how we get the seasons. We, of course, have the spring and fall equinoxes, and then in the winter and the summer, we have the solstices. Now, with the fall and spring equinoxes, those are when we have the center of the sun over the equator and generally about equal day and equal night, hence equinox being equal. Now, when we have the winter solstice and the summer solstice, that's when the sun is at its furthest point north or south on the Earth. So the first day of summer, the summer solstice for us, that's when it's over the Tropic of Cancer, and we see our longest hours of daylight here in the northern uh, hemisphere. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, that's when they have winter time. You can see here some of those hours of daylight in the Arctic Circle in the summertime. 24 hours of daylight each and every day right around the summer solstice. Tropic of Cancer, little more than 12 hours of daylight, still about 12 hours over the equator. And then in the southern hemisphere, that's when they're at their shortest amounts of daylight for the entire year. Now, let's flip to the reverse of things. The winter solstice for us, which is happening this weekend. That's our first day of winter, December 21st. That's when the sun is over the Tropic of Capricorn, which is in the southern hemisphere. They'll get to experience summertime, but meanwhile here in the northern hemisphere, we have winter time and that means, of course, our shorter hours of daylight. The opposite happens from what happens during the summer solstice. So up in the Arctic Circle, instead of seeing 24 hours of daylight, they have 24 hours of darkness for several days in a row. Tropic of Cancer, just about 10 and a half hours of daylight there. And then the opposite effect there with the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere having 24 hours of daylight. Well, we're experiencing wintertime up here. Let's talk specifically about Saturday here in Atlanta. Sunrise will happen at 738 in the morning. Sunset at 533 p.m. Actually, our earliest sunsets happened a little bit earlier in the month already, but it will be our shortest day of the year. Here in Atlanta, we're going to have nine hours, 54 minutes and 32 seconds of daylight. That's the winter solstice. Now let's talk about how many minutes of daylight we're going to grow as we get closer to that spring equinox. By the midway point through winter, which is about early February, it's about 10 hours and 35 minutes of daylight. And then if we fast forward to the start of spring, we'll have 12 hours and nine minutes of daylight for the equinox.